power of nature. Its power can be overwhelming and awe-inspiring. The power we see in nature is driven from the sun's energy. It warms the planet and fuels the plant life here on Earth, from the flowers to the mighty and majestic forests that reach for the sun's energies. From the dawn of time, we have used and needed the power from the sun for the light, for our crops, for our health and recreation. So vital is the sun, at times it was even worshipped. Today we are learning to use the sun's power in new ways. In the 1880s, Charles Fritz created the first solar cell, or photovoltaic cell. Photoelectric production has been doubling every two years, increasing by an average of 48% each year since the year 2002, making it the world's fastest growing energy technology. At the end of the year 2007, according to preliminary data, cumulative global production was over 12,000 megawatts. Roughly 90% of this generating capacity consists of grid-tied electrical systems. This is the PS10 solar power tower. It is operating in the sunny Spanish city of Seville. Each of the mirrors concentrates the sun's rays to the top of a 35-story tower where the solar receiver and steam turbine are located. The turbine drives a generator producing electricity. The PS10 is the first set of solar power generation plants to be constructed in the same area that will total more than 300 megawatts by the year 2013. California's sunny Mojave Desert is the home of the SEGS Solar Energy Generating Systems operated by Southern California Edison. 1,600 acres houses nearly a million mirrors, each automatically tracking the sun and generating 354 megawatts of energy, making it the largest solar energy generating facility in the world. The light reflected and focused at the central tube is nearly 80 times more intense than ordinary sunlight, heating the oil upwards to 750 degrees Fahrenheit. This heat is then used to generate steam, which drives electrical generators, supplying power to nearly a quarter million homes While the sun's energy is gentle enough to warm us, and yet not so intense as to destroy our crops, the sun gives us a wide and gentle power over the whole face of the earth. The power of sun is part of our new power solution.